Hello, I would like to thank the editors of uh, Gastrointestinal Endoscopy for accepting our paper and everyone who is watching this introduction. I am presenting here the paper accept for publication in Gastrointestinal Endoscopy entitled Efficacy of Dye-Based Chromoendoscopy for, for Colorectal Neoplasia Detection, a Systematic Review and Meta-Analysis of Randomized Trials. This was a combined effort Mm, from uh, Rome, uh, Milan, and many experts throughout the world. So um, everyone knows that um, we are striving to increase adenoma detection rate, both by technological and uh, means to increase um, ADR. Uh, we know that we do this because uh, ADR is one of the main measures of colonoscopy quality. So we uh, have seen in the past that dye-based pancolonic chromoendoscopy has shown in some studies to increase adenoma detection rate. Uh, on the other hand, this is a cumbersome process that uh, results in an increase in procedure time and a small also increase in costs, both by all the means to undergo chromoendoscopy and also, of course, by the increase in polypectomy and histopathological analysis. In guidelines, indeed, uh, the use of pancolonic chromoendoscopy is limited, uh, it's recommended and limited only uh, in the long-term surveillance of ulcerative colitis. While in the average risk patient, the ESG guidelines uh, recommend uh, use in a case-by-case -case analysis based, of course, on local resources and, of course, other uh, issues like time and uh, expertise, of course. Um, so, in, we, we thought that it was time to address uh, uh, this uh, problem in a meta-analysis because we know that there are many randomized controlled trials, some very recent, and the oldest meta-analysis had nearly 10 years and it, had, um, it could not take into account new technologies like high definition or artificial intelligence that may impact the efficacy of dye-based chromoendoscopy, namely reducing it, of course. On the other hand, we also have new delivery opportunities for this dye, like, for example, uh, using uh, the jet spray to um, introduce the dye into the colon, so reducing the um, cumbersome process of spraying it with a um, dedicated catheter. And there is also new evidence that uh, orally delivered metal in blue with an M multi-matrix technology that dissolves right in the ileum and in the colon, terminal ileum and the colon, may uh, even facilitate the delivery of the dye during colonoscopy preparation. So we felt that it was time to uh, update uh, the uh, previous meta-analysis that was uh, published nearly 10 years ago, and we wanted to evaluate the efficacy of dye-based chromoendoscopy in the detection of colorectal neoplasia. But of course, we limited this search only to randomized controlled trials to keep the level of the evidence at the best evidence available. Our primary outcome was adenoma detection rate, but also we tried to um, subdivide also for sessile serrated adenomas, which of course in recent years have uh, gained increased attention, and even uh, try to see if we could substratify for distal and proximal lesions. We included a total of 10 studies in the end as you can see in the paper, and um, we managed to, um, of course, uh, to analyze our primary outcome in all 10 studies, and uh, the result was an increase of nearly 20% of ADR by dye-based chromoendoscopy as compared to traditional chromoendoscopy, which is, first of all, one of the strongest results that we found. Uh, we also tried and substratify for indication, for example, but this didn't, uh, for colonoscopy indication, of course, and this didn't actually change uh, our results. It was always more or less a 20% increase in ADR. Uh, even when we tried and analyzed the mean adenoma per colonoscopy, which is another quality indicator that is gaining attention uh, in recent years as an uh, ad ad additional uh, quality indicator Indicator apart from adenoma detection rate, because of course it doesn't um, suffer from the gaming effect and the one and done effect that ADR is uh, subject to. 
And even for the mean adenoma per colonoscopy, we found an increase of 0.3 uh, adenomas per colonoscopy increase in uh, dibase chromoendoscopy. It was also interesting, you can see the results in a specific table in the paper. You can see how even when accounting for high definition, uh, dibase chromoendoscopy increased uh, ADR even when considering only studies employing scopes at high definition. So, of course, a little bit less uh, increase in ADR when using high definition, because, of course, the baseline, the control was a little bit higher, but still we have a significant increase with dibase from endoscopy. We found, of course, an increase in procedure time when using dibase from endoscopy, but this was accounted for. And um, we also saw that in three studies, and you have a specific dedicated table in the paper, you can see that sessile serrated adenomas are increased in the chromoendoscopy group. And I think that is a really interesting and new datum that is uh, bound to gain attention in the future. Uh, the increase in the detection of polyps was significant both in the uh, proximal and in the distal colon, although the proximal colon showed um, an increased rate of ADR as compared to the distal colon. So uh, I think um, this is my conclusion. Uh, Dibase chromoendoscopy in our meta-analysis was shown to increase ADR across a great number of indications and it it kept its significance with advanced adenomas, with sessile serrated adenomas, and with any kind of uh, dye based dye delivery or uh, study design. I thank you very much for your attention, and I hope you will read and enjoy our paper. Goodbye.